Hello, I'm Brian with TanyaNomad.com and today I'll be reviewing the Atrana Attaché. The Attaché is a very early portable computer, similar to others but noticeably smaller and won't kill your arm from lugging it around too much. The handle also functions as an adjustable stand, similar to the Commodore SS64, and it can lock in place at two different angles to meet your preference. Once you have the handle positioned appropriately, you can pop out the keyboard, which will reveal a tiny 5.5 inch green screen monitor with dual disk drives. Atrana was a small Colorado based computer company from the early 80s. They released their first computer, the Attaché, in 1982. It was the vision of Ron Lingeman, a former employee of Hewlett Packard. The Attaché was truly a state of the art computer, not only because of its small size and attractive qualities but also because it was relatively fast using a ZADA processor clocking in at 4 MHz. It was also very expensive, priced at $3,995. On the back of the machine you can see there's two serial ports and an external video port for dual monitor display. Under that sliding cover there's a fuse box where you can actually adjust the voltage settings to 100, 120, 220, or 240. So you can basically run the machine anywhere in the world. I received my unit this weekend in non-working condition. After taking it apart I discovered the first problem, a loose cable in the monitor chassis. Fixing that at least got me some picture, although not exactly what I was hoping for. Speaking of the monitor, notice the green transparent cover to give it that green screen effect. I suppose you could just exchange the color filter with another color if you really wanted. I noticed some of the pins were pretty badly corroded, especially on the CRTC chip, but after a good cleaning and reseeding, it seems to have resolved the issue, at least for now. So let's boot this thing up. Now the Attaché is a CPM machine, and unfortunately it didn't come with any software, any manuals, anything, but luckily there's a lot of documentation online. You can actually switch between terminal and monitor mode. It boots into terminal mode by default. But while in monitor mode, you can run the built-in diagnostics to test out your system. So let me start with the keyboard testing. What's kind of neat is with each key you press, it actually displays its hexadecimal value beside it. It also makes a sound every time you click, although you can turn that off. Here's the graphic mode test. The keyboard on this thing is very nice and has shortcut instructions right on the overlay, making it very easy for newbies like me to navigate around. Due in part to the IBM PC's dominance of the market, there were only about 5,000 or so of these units sold. Mine is number 1701. In 1984, Atrana announced the Atrana 2001, an IBM PC compatible machine, but shortly after its pilot release, the company folded, making this machine one of the rarest computers you'll ever find or never find. Overall, I think this computer is just fantastic looking, and it's no surprise it was called the BMW of portables. It's definitely a great addition to my collection, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching.